You probably dabbled in magic as a kid, spending time trying to find the right card with relatives on a Sunday afternoon, or impressing your friends at school with reappearing rabbits from your sleeve. Most of us gave up at an early age, but there are a few world-class magicians who carried on with their hobby and eventually turned it into a career. These people have learned the tricks of the trade and impressed thousands of people. But have you ever wondered exactly how their tricks work? We've put together a list of 10 of the best magic tricks around and how they're orchestrated to appear as little more than some wishful thinking. We can't promise to teach you some of these magic tricks from scratch, but we've got a trick of our own here. Before we start, click the subscribe button and we'll make a whole load of interesting videos appear into your life. You don't even need to say abracadabra. Dynamo's Bus Levitation If you weren't lucky enough to witness this spark of magic in real life, then you've almost definitely seen the video of it. But if you still haven't, then we'll give you a brief overview. Magician Dynamo was strolling through central London when suddenly he appears to grab hold of a passing bus and levitate. Nope, we're not messing with you here. Understandably, you'd be shocked to witness such a feat because it's impossible to levitate, right? Well, we're here to show you how the trick was done, although it might not be one that's so easy to replicate. For starters, the bus that was used was a prop. The driver most definitely knew what was going on here, despite his look of surprise. And now, the important bit. Notice Dynamo's right arm. It doesn't seem to move or flex at all. That's because it's actually a fake arm and is made of metal. His real arm is safely concealed under his clothes, giving the illusion that he's attached to the bus only by one arm. His other arm and both legs are free to move because there's a harness connecting the metal arm to the rest of his body. It's little more than a decent camera trick. Card on the window. There are a few variations to this trick, but the main one can't be achieved without a fit of anger. So if you happen to catch David Blaine performing this trick and wondered when he became so short-tempered, you should remember that it's all part of the act. The card on the window trick is simple. All it requires is two identical decks of cards and a willing helper. It focuses around your spectator choosing a card without showing you and you, the magician, not being able to locate the card. For effect, the magician pretends to pick the right card a few times before thinking that he's done the trick wrong. As a result, he will soon become angry and take his anger out on the cards, so much so that he actually throws the deck of cards towards the nearby window. Your helper will be standing behind the window and will stick up the correct, identical card onto the window from the other side. When your spectator turns around, they'll find a pile of cards on the floor and their cards stuck to the window with magician's wax. David Blaine has done this trick many times and always manages to surprise the audience with different elements, but this is the base of how it's done. Something even more magical than these tricks is our new network, The Premium. It's created for those of you who love ad-free viewing and free things, and it gives you early access to many great channels like Screen Rant, The Gamer, and CBR. You can sign up to The Premium by clicking the link, and you'll be able to start watching all your favorite videos ad-free straight away. The Disappearing Statue of Liberty David Copperfield's impressive magic of making the Statue of Liberty disappear shocked the nation, who was finally convinced that magic is real and what they just witnessed was purely supernatural. Unfortunately, they were wrong, and Copperfield's trick is little more than basic contortionism. The Statue of Liberty is pretty heavy, and we imagine it would take more than just some powerful mind games to move it in an instant. David Copperfield, also realizing this, thought about the trick and considered the alternative, moving the audience instead, or rather, moving the audience's perception of what they saw. The trick with this magic, if you'll pardon the pun, is all about noticing the background details. Copperfield used a curtain to show the audience where the statue started and simply turned the platform they were on when the curtain rose again. Keeping the background features similar enough meant the audience was totally transfixed on the disappearance of the statue and didn't seem to notice that they'd actually just changed direction. And then, when the magician wanted the statue to return, he simply shut the curtain, spun the platform around again, and opened the curtain. And unsurprisingly, behind it, waiting to greet us again, was the Statue of Liberty. There have been debates surrounding this trick as to whether or not stooges were used in the audience, but of course, nobody will ever be able to answer that. Chris Angel's Levitation We've already explained how to use wire limbs to fake levitation, but what about on something a bit more intricate than a bus, like a building? Surely there must be at least an element of magic involved when it comes to something as complex and hard to fake as Chris Angel's building levitation tricks. Nope. Sadly, we're going to explain just how it was done, and once again, it's little to do with supernatural talents and far more to do with some impressive engineering work. You might have noticed that Chris Angel wears a lot of black. 
Now, this might just be down to his taste in fashion, but it also seems to have played a role in a few of his tricks. In this one, it's almost crucial for success. Because the buildings are high up, spectators can only watch from below or from a television screen. This means it's much easier to fake because there's nobody scrutinizing it from up close. You might have guessed by now, but attached to Chris's black clothes are black wires. These wires carry him between the buildings, giving the impression that he's levitating, when in reality he's just holding on very tight, and probably hoping in his head that the wires don't snap. Now, that would most certainly ruin the illusion. Lying beneath a moving truck Regardless of whether this trick is down to magic or not, it's definitely a risky one that we wouldn't try ourselves. So even if you consider yourself the next Houdini, or in this case, the next Panner Teller, this is probably a trick you should leave for the professionals. In the trick, you'll witness one magician drive an 18-wheeler truck over the other. It's enough to make your heart skip a beat, and it's truly terrifying to watch if you're squeamish in the slightest. You'll watch one magician calmly lie there on the floor, not even contemplating their last wishes as a huge truck drives towards them. Suddenly, the truck drives over them, and peeking through your fingers, you'll notice that neither magician is screaming or crying, and both are still in one piece. The magic behind this one is pretty intricate, and is down to weights. One side of the truck is weighted heavier than the other, meaning that the guy lying down does not actually feel any pressure as the wheels glide over him. These counterweights are out of view, and as such, this trick is definitely one that's been kept a secret for longer than many others. Dynamo's iPhone in a Bottle We've watched this trick a few times, and without some careful viewing, it's easy to think it's truly magical. But, like the rest of our list, we're about to reveal just how Dynamo makes us think he somehow fit an entire iPhone inside a bottle, and how he also removes it in one piece afterwards. Are you ready to be shocked? The important part to focus on during this trick is the bottle itself. Dynamo tries to focus the audience attention on the phone, so instead, look at the bottle. How long can you see it for? The trick is very fast, and in what seems to be like a split second, Dynamo somehow pushes the phone inside the bottle with little more than a flick of his hand. In reality, there is an assistant standing behind the magician who passes him an identical bottle with an identical phone inside. All Dynamo then has to do is push the existing iPhone into his sleeve without anybody noticing, and the trick is done. However, we should remember here that the spectators playing along are most likely stooges. The magician has never denied using them in his tricks, which makes us even more certain that this particular piece of magic isn't real after all. Houdini's Vanishing Elephant Back in the day, Houdini's elephant trick was thought to be one of the most impressive around. It shocked hundreds of people because, realistically, how else could you make an entire elephant disappear except by using magic? Well, it's actually one of the easiest tricks around and uses nothing more than good timing, some very basic contortionism, and a mirror. Houdini performed his trick on a huge stage, which made his 8 foot tall and 5 ton elephant seem quite small in comparison. Naturally, you would think that moving an elephant to anywhere would take a bit of time, but the secret here is that the elephant kept moving. The stage Houdini performed on had a huge cabinet with front curtains and back doors. The magician shut and reopened the curtains and showed the audience the elephant had gone. Then, he slowly started to shift the front of the cabinet towards the audience, while the elephant was walked around hiding from the open section the whole time. A mirror inside reflected the empty half of the stage, but no matter which part of the cabinet Houdini showed, there was always a part the audience couldn't clearly see. This meant there was always somewhere for the elephant to hide. It looked amazing, but was little more than a very well-behaved elephant. Walking through the Great Wall of China You'd have thought this trick was actually magical, because there's no logical explanation for it all. How does anyone get through the Great Wall of China? Well, one person has achieved this feat, David Copperfield. Although, you'd be wrong if you thought it was actually down to magic, because instead, it's down to good lighting, excellent assistance, and an even better poker face. During the trick, you'll watch the magician step behind the sheets when a switch is flicked. Then, we see a shadow which doesn't actually belong to Copperfield, but rather to his assistant. The magician has simply stepped away out of the light. He steps into the hollow platform and waits in the box. The stairs are removed and then are placed on the other side of the wall. The bottom step is then attached to the box, which Copperfield quietly climbs out from. The assistants hold the sheet up against the other side of the wall and use props to look like the magician's hand struggling to get through the wall. The most important thing to remember here is that the assistant is only using one real hand, with the other hidden underneath the sheet. This gives the illusion that the hands underneath the sheet belong to the magician. Then, Copperfield appears as if by magic through the wall. Torn Dollar Bills 
This is the kind of trick that you want to actually be magic, because who wants to waste money cutting it up? But surely, if that part is actually magic, we'd be able to create more money as part of the trick. Perhaps one day, You've probably seen this one before, but for those of you who haven't, a magician places $2 bills back to back and slices through the middle of them with a pair of scissors. Somehow, after a few magic words and so on, he manages to restore both the notes back to how they were originally, simply with a bit of magic. Or not. In fact, this trick is performed with the help of rubber cement and baby powder. The notes are stuck together by folding each in half, so when you cut through the middle, you're cutting through nothing but rubber cement. It'll definitely look like you've cut through your dollar bills to the audience, but in reality, the two bills were never cut at all in the first place. Then, with both bills in separate hands, the magician shakes them. The rubber cement will cause them to subtly unfold, and it will look like the magician has managed to glue the notes back together again, using only the power of his mind. Being sawn in half. It's the oldest trick in the book, but it never fails to scare us when we see a magician calmly slicing his assistant in half, when she lies there smiling at the audience with not a care in the world. You've probably seen it any number of times, but have you ever wondered how it works? There are actually a few methods to do this trick, and it's one of the simplest ones around. The most common way of performing this trick is with the help of a pair of fake feet. We didn't say it would be easy to replicate at home, now did we? The assistant lies in the box and slowly moves her legs around, so they're not in the way of the saw. Most people who watch this trick assume the box is only deep enough to just about fit the assistant in, but most of the time, the box is deep enough for her to shuffle around. Then, when the box is cut in half, the fake feet stay on one end and the entire assistant stays in the other half. The second way of performing this trick is with two assistants. One lies in each half of the box, and when the box is split in two, the bottom half of the second assistant is shown, and only the top half of the first. This is a great way for appearing realistic, because the second assistant can still wiggle her toes while the audience is shocked. You might not be able to watch a magic trick the same way after seeing these answers, but you'll definitely be able to show off to your friends about your knowledge of the magic world. We hope you enjoyed this video, and make sure to go subscribe to The Hub before you go. Thanks!